Hey there guys, how's it going? And thanks for checking out another Ark Survival Evolve video. This episode today is episode one of the new series that is gonna be played on my own Ark Cluster servers. You can actually play on these servers if you want to. They're open to the public. Links are in my Discord. It's a mix of PVE and PVP across an Ark Cluster, although I have actually temporarily stopped uh, across Ark Cluster transfers, because apparently there's there was a problem with it um the last couple of days but we'll be sorting that out so it should work eventually the idea two pve servers one pvp server and you can freely transfer across them all and the pvp server has a couple of boosted rates as well so that people uh, have a bit of an incentive to go over there rather than just go over there for when they want to do a little bit of battling so let me introduce you to my new place my new character and whereabouts i am so far in my progression and what my plans are for this series one thing i want to say before we get into this one i know a lot of people will ask it they always do does this mean there's no ps4 series what's happening to that the ps4 series is going to be there don't you worry guys this is just another thing to run alongside arc and actually doing this over the last few days have made me realize really how much we're missing out on in terms of what arc has to offer by just focusing on the pvp series so now the pvp tribe is a little bit more set we seem to have our kind of base sorted. I don't have to be on there 24 7 grinding. I can do this kind of series as well. But we will have PS4. We will have PS4 PvP coming this week, even. Probably every other video I'm going to try and do PvP. But this series, it's all about chilling. It's about relaxing. It's about enjoying what Ark has to offer. It's about joining me on my little adventures here and seeing my progression. The idea is I eventually want to get the tech tier stuff. I want to breed super high level dinos, but all on a kind of scale you're going to be able to relate to on official servers. We've got the same difficulty here as we have on official servers. Slightly boosted rates times three for most of the rates, uh, but it's going to be, I don't know, just really, really cool for me because also, I mean, look how nice this game looks on PC. I know obviously uh, it's a bit dodgy with the grass textures a bit blurry there but i'm sure you guys will be able to see it just looks looks so nice so of course we've got a whole bunch of mods going on here we've got decoration mods nothing too drastic i didn't want to change the game too dramatically in terms of the dinos or anything like that so nothing that really changes the core of the game uh, but we've got a couple of things to make life a little bit more easier and a little bit more interesting so we've got some decoration here obviously you can see i've decorated my place a little bit other than that we've got the um structure Structures Plus mod? Is it called Structures Plus or is it called? I think it's called Structures Plus. It's called S Plus anyway, and this is the crafting station for S Plus. Now, S Plus is a uh, mod that allows you to make loads and loads of really much more flexible structures. Here you can see we've got foundations and stuff that are actually the full foundations. There's no overhang, uh, there's no clipping uh, issues when you make stuff with Survival Plus. Just overall, a really great building mod. It is made for PvE though, so this isn't on the PvP servers, uh, but it's something that I got today. Now, the most useful thing about this mod and i hope it comes for uh, consoles as well because it'd be great to have this on uh, private servers but if you hold e on this crafting station then you can pull resources and what this does it allows you to set a resource let's say kite in actually you know we actually haven't got that much kite in, but let's go for something that might be a little bit all around the place so let's say actually i want to get some of my fertilizer i've oh, got fertilizer in here e e D E F. no it's only actual things here so what this is doing this is actually showing me where in my base these things are so i can see i've got a little bit of metal one in the refining forge one in the storage box uh narco berries i've got a thousand in the trike i've got 1116 in the uh in the mortar and pestles and what i can do if i want is i can just take all of them out of that mortar and pestle from here and then if you press done now they will be in here which is really really super cool so it's great for like transferring items from different areas figuring out like oh okay i need some wood to make something do i have any wood in the base instead of going to every single box in your base you can just go over here and say oh there's 65 wood in the large storage box and 243 in the truck so super super useful that 
Uh, for those of you who actually missed my stream, well, I did stream this a lot the weekend. Let's just go over my little base here and what's going on here. So we've got a couple of preserving bins. We've got the eggs going on. I've started a little dodo. Uh, well, I've, I've got a couple of dodos even to get some kibble. Here you can see I've got my dodo kibble ready to go. I'm going to be trying to get myself a pteranodon today. I did actually have a pteranodon. This is something worth noting. And as I tr uh, transferred servers over to my uh, Scorched Earth one, when I came back, I lost the pteranodon. So that's why we've disabled some of the stuff for transferring at the moment but anyway uh we've got our uh, crops growing in there a nice little campfire this s plus one's cool actually with the s plus stuff you can like pick it up which is really really cool oh and it seems like you, you can pull resources from this as well oh my god wow that is crazy so we've got our little terrariums here as well i've got a little mini brood mother and i've got some frogs look pretty nice we've got the uh terranium crafting station there for if i want to make any more this is the skins chest so if i wanted to use any of these skins i could do this here uh other than that we've just got some storage boxes this is the garden decor we can obviously make all the plants and stuff i've got hanging around um pretty standard stuff we've got the meat spoiler here which is actually really interesting so let's see how much raw meat i've got in the base i don't think i've actually got much let's see so the dillo's got 26 let's just take 50 out of the raptor just to show you guys this so Damn, I love that system. That is so, so cool. So I can take 50 out of the Raptor. I put it in here. You turn this on. And the music plays. Which is really cool. It's like a industrial spoiler kind of thing. Spoil stuff pretty quickly. Um, and the reason I've actually decided to put this mod on is because I've got the stacker mod on. Uh, my stuff doesn't spoil very easily without splitting it apart. My, um, my meat doesn't spoil very easily unless I do that. So let's put that in here we'll just make a few more narcotics and that is all good yeah so that's really handy uh up the top here nothing too crazy i've just got myself a fabricator i haven't really got any um stuff i've made in the fabricator yet i want to take this playthrough kind of slowly i want to go at a slow progression level i don't want to have gigas and high level t-rexes episode one guys we're going to take this take our time really enjoy it and really enjoy each different stage that the game has to offer go through it properly uh, i've got a bookshelf here and i've actually what i did is i went to scorched earth and got some of these items uh, so I've got a few nice blueprints there that I could uh, use. I've actually got a raptor saddle blueprint there, uh, which I might have to make pretty soon. And uh, here's one of the beds from the decor map, which is pretty nice. Oh, as you can probably see in my inventory, I did make myself one of the guns. Uh, so I've got this nice, really cool, like, submachine gun going on here. Here's the dodos. These are the egg layers. Uh, nothing too crazy going on here, really, other than a few crops. So I guess that's really... The introduction to my beginning base the plan is is that this is just going to be my starter area where i'm going to get my low level tames maybe some herbivores and then i'm going to be moving to a much bigger much more high-end area um for where i'm going to have the real serious massive dino pen and all of that kind of stuff so this isn't going to be the final base location but this is just the starter place this is in the south i'm not sure if i've got it marked here on the map yeah there you can see if you're wondering it's about 78 48 something like that i decided to go here because we've got loads of metal there we've got the cave in there as well and obviously we've got plenty of other stuff around a uh, quick look at the tames in case you're wondering what tames i've got at the moment i managed to tame a level 150 trike uh, which is obviously great for the berries uh we've got a dillo i only really got that dillo because i was thinking about thinking about long-term stuff this raptor i don't know it just ran in front of me so i got it uh so those are going to be egg layers eventually but the only real useful thing i've got is a trike and i've got the fiomia for my berries now what i want to get today is a pteranodon because um obviously like i explained earlier in the video i lost my pteranodon i did have a pteranodon and i lost it in transferring so i want to look for a, a decent level one today um i want to try and get some nice high level pteranodons going on get some breeding going on nice and early anything really over a level 120 i'd probably take today obviously long term we're going to be going for uh, high level 150s of amazing stats. But yeah, let's have a little run around. See if we can find ourselves a nice high level Pteranodon. Oh my god, look at that. A 145 Quetzal. I'm all looking for a Quetzal at the moment though. Not ready for that. So I'm over here at Red Ob. I uh, forgot to mention, I'm also looking out for 150 Dodos. I thought it would be a really cool thing to get some super, super high level mutated ultra dodo so that'd be cool damn look how low that thing is like the most freaking 
I could probably shoot you from here. I'm not going to. It would be a waste of my trank arrows. Uh, but yeah, search so far. Nothing, nothing good. But I'm sure we'll find something soon if we keep looking around this coast. Normally loads around the south coast. And uh, yeah, anything above 120 and I'm going to take. Oh, look at this. Three in a row. There's got to be a good one here. 10, 85, and 5. Oh, man. Having some really bad luck. Thought I might get up high here, up on this high little ridge, and then possibly down Black Beach. Although, you can tell, if you know the Ark map, and you know where I am right now, I've been around a lot of this map and not had much luck. Oh, look at that. Nice little Tapahara in the sky. Definitely going to get myself some of those. Oh, cheeky little Carno there. Be careful. Therizinos. In general, this game, like, ever since a lot of these new dinos have been put in, it's a lot more dangerous just running around in PvE scenarios, Trudons, Pego Mastax, obviously the usual Carnos around, but Therizinos as well. Another relatively new dinosaur that's making it a little bit more tricky. I guess I should maybe look out for other, like, 150s of other kinds of dinos, although I'm not going to walk a carbon enemy all the way from uh, over here. So, yeah, the search continues. Then we're going to head down to Black Beach. One, two, five. I think you will do. I've spent long enough looking around. So, we'll be careful around here, the old redwoods. Not only have we got Perlovias, we've also got the Trudons. I mean, there's bears as well, not to be underestimated. But, yeah, it's the Perlovias and the Trudons I'm most worried about. Now, we have got the um, unlimited bowler mod, so I could just have a little go at this. Let's see if we can get him like this. <gasps> Boom! Oh, no. No one did my... He's going to come land, though. Oh, or is he? Let's have to wait. Oh, oh, it's coming in. Oh, not too close to the bear. Not too close to the bear. All right. Got him. All right, let's knock him out. Saying that, there is quite a lot of them around here, so I might want to knock out a couple. Before I uh, set on this one. Deal with these. Right, that thing's down. Get rid of these. I mean, I could go for this one. But now I'm here in the Redwood. I'm kind of thinking like... Do you know what? There is a lot of birds around here. There might be a slightly better one. Right, let me have a little look around first. And then we'll go for this one. Oh, we found a 145. I know I'm starving, but we found a 145. Oh, what the heck is all this stuff that's chasing me? I just heard it. I don't know what it is that's chasing me. It was the sound of one of those new dinos that I don't like. Oh, oh there's a compi. That ain't a problem. Oh, that thing's going to go down, right? Go down, go down. Right, now it's going down. Okay, what was it? I heard something. Right, we've got compies here. Right, I think we are good. Right, this one's a decent level, so I'm going to need to get myself some uh, wooden spikes. Something will come up and smish this if I don't. All right, so we've got our Tyrannodon down, and it does not look good, guys. Look at these stats. Now, this one does seem to have good melee. So what I've got here is the Dodo Dex. Um, so I think this isn't going to be our perfect Tyrannodon. It might be... One we can breed, possibly, for its melee. I can already tell its its health is not good. Um, 882, a below average health. Stamina, again, that is horrendous stamina. How has that got 11 points in stamina? I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Oxygen is 495, which is, like, average, but that is high average. 23 points, high average. Food, that's pretty average, actually. I've seen that before a few times. Below average, that's good. Um, weight, that is average again. 219 even. Um, on the slightly higher side. And melee, 250. So we've actually got 30 points into melee. I thought this was going to be a high one. So although this seemed like this wasn't going to be a great uh, Tyrannodon, this is exceptionally high melee. So... This could be part of our melee squad or part of our final kind of mutations that we do. So, yeah, we found a melee bird and it's a female. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I'm going to risk it and put the kibble in. I've got the narcotic on me. Those of you who are pretty smart with the old breeding and uh, 
taming though you probably shouldn't put the kibble in straight away but i feel like risking it but yeah hopefully this thing gets a few points in its stamina because uh i won't be able to actually use this thing although it's great to have that crazy melee i actually won't be able to use this what the bloody hell is going on here <laughs> I'm just sitting here waiting for this to tame out. And a huge battle is just taking place right next to me. Paraceratherium versus Terror Bird. And it looks like the Paras has won. Now, whoa, there's something else trying to attack me? It's a Peko Mastax. I knew I could hear the sounds of all those skill beeps. Yeah, I think he's trying to rob me at the same time. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think seems to be okay here. I guess because it's PvE, once your tame is knocked out, it doesn't get damaged by wild dinos. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm guessing that's what happened because my tame seems all right here. Seems on the times three rates I've got it on, uh, this might tame off of just four kibble, which would be nice. So yeah, let's just wait it out and then I'll uh, pop, pop the old stats down. And we'll see how we're looking. Oh, are you kidding me? What? Do you have no respect? God damn it. So she's nearly done. I think because she is such a melee beast, I'll probably end up calling her Milady. Uh, one thing I just noticed really, I haven't really paid attention, but these colours are really, really nice. It's a, It looks like a very, very dark blue, the darker stripe there. Mixed with a more grey blue and then almost like a light grey blue wing. That's a pretty nice uh, colour combination, especially the wings. I mean, that's not far off how the mutated blue wings look. Some of the light blue mutated wings look like that. So very, very nice looking, my lady. See how far off being uh, ready it is. Right, just got to wait for this to drop a little more. And then we're going to be in business. And here she is. Let's have a little look at the stats. Actually, looks a lot more grey in this light. Not not really any blue tint to it at all. So let's see what we've got. 357.3 melee. That is not bad at all for a first generation bird. So 1134 health. Nothing too crazy. Uh, stamina. We're looking at 870. Very bad stamina. Hopefully we'll be able to improve on that with some of our other birds. Uh, weight 240. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad at all. And then melee damage is 357.3. I'm actually very happy with that. 357.3. Um, this thing had... Oh, we can't have um, points in. Okay, 357. This thing had 30 points into melee. That is very... Very nice indeed. Right, let's get this thing back to base. Let's start using it. And uh, this will allow us to progress a bit further. Well, we've made it back home. Uh, we've got a little bit of double XP on our Trandon, as you can see. Still some double XP, but I don't really feel like going around at the moment and leveling it. So let's just go and land it in the base. So I am going to put it in here, just so it's a little bit extra safe. It is PvE, but you'd be surprised. People do try and still get your stuff killed by wild dinos on PvE. So let's rename her. Uh, my lady. <laughs> That's a weird way of spelling it, but it is what it is. Uh, and yeah, we've managed to get 2k stamina in it now, so it's not too bad. Uh, I might end up just pumping uh, movement speed in it now. I don't know. It's only got 700 um, XP in it, so a lot more levels to go on that thing right let's have a little look around and see what needs to be done next right so looking through and i think this is part of the spoiler thing we've got this gardener um skin which i really really want so let's try and make this we need 100 hide uh 250 cementing paste and 100 ingots so a cool way of doing this might be using our s plus table so um ingots we've definitely got a hundred so let's go for ingots we can pull out 100 of those uh was it a hundred hide as well i think it was let's go hide uh we've got loads of smithy go for a hundred of that pull that okay let's have another little look at it i actually put it on my hot bar make it a bit easier god oh god there's so 100 hide 100 ingots I don't have the pelt, but I do have the 250 cementing paste. So let's pull resources. 
paste. Splinting paste. 250. Pull that. Bada bing. Bada boom bang. Okay, so now the only thing we need. Oh, we actually need to take out the hide and stuff. <laughs> hide of the ingots. As ingots. I've actually already got a few ingots on me. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, no, we haven't. Right, okay, we're good there. So now the only thing that we need is the pelt. So let's just double check we don't have any pelt here. I don't think we do. Because uh, I haven't... I don't remember keeping any because it weighs a bit. So I don't normally... So no, we've got no pelt. So let's make sure we're all ready to go to the snow biome. Might throw on some hide armor as it's a little bit better at keeping you warm. Uh, we'll go for the... Let's go for everything apart from chest. That'll give us a little bit of extra protection. Look at my dude. He looks like the guy out of Lord of the Rings. The little... Um, oh, God. What are they even called? The little dudes. I don't remember. Right. Anyway, we are looking okay here. Let's head over to... Oh, actually, I need to repair my pike. Look at that. Near that with a broken pike. And, uh, yep. Yeah, right. Let's go over and get ourselves some pelt. Actually, you can get pelt from, like, beavers and stuff. So, I don't even need to go get coal. Just need to find some beavers. So, yeah. Let's go get us some pelt. Oh man, look at this. This is someone else's base on my server. Looks like they're making the most of the garden decor mod here. Got some real nice stuff. We've got the brick gate. Ah, this is their little Fiomia hut. Yeah, that looks really, really nice. Gotta give some props to this dude. This is Solitude. Made a really, really nice little... Well, I guess it's a little hut for his pig. But it does look really, really cool. But either way, I'm around here because I thought... Who needs to go to the cold? You can get pelt from bears, of course. So let's go kill some bears, get our pelt, and make our little garden costume. Cool, you forget, man. A bear hits pretty damn hard. Look at all that other stuff that's there as well, like little Pego Mastax. Oh my god, I've got to be careful here. I've got to be careful. They've already eaten my bear, that terror bird. So maybe this ain't going to be as easy as I thought. I've got to be a little bit careful here. I tell you what, all this messing around. <laughs> Why don't we just do what I should have done in the first place? Come here, scary! <laughs> oh god. What's attacking my what's attacking my turn on? Oh, no, it's fine, it's just eating. Oh my god. Woo! Well, that is a really, really stupid way of doing that. But I guess it works. Oh my god. Pega Mastak from my spyglass. <laughs> that is a super, super inefficient way of killing anything, but I don't care. I've got my pelt. <laughs> yeah, that's. I wouldn't recommend doing that. That's not actually very good at all. Anyway, where's my spyglass, mate? Yeah, thank you for that. But that was annoying me anyway. Let's carry on. I just need to kill one more to get enough pelt for my little suit. Ah, oh, level 5 die bear. Now you're talking my language. A bunch of compies as well, though. Get rid of them first. There you go. And you're a goner. Right, this should be it. Oh, just there's always one. There's always one, isn't there? Right, I've got my. I've got it. I don't care. I'm out. I'm out of here. Right, let's see if I can make it now. Let's have a look. Go. Gardener's Majiggy. Craft it. So, is this like a costume? Oh, hold on. It's actually got some. Do you know what? I didn't even look into what this actually even is. Let's have a proper look. So, it collects crops from nearby plots, requires beer to function, can place preserving soul in inventory. What? I need beer for this? I thought it was just a cool costume I could just wear. S plus gardener. Is it like a structure that I actually put on the ground? Is that what it is? It like, oh my god, it is. Oh, that's actually even cooler than I thought it was. All right, well, I guess we need to get us some beer. I don't know, we need to get the beer barrel going. And uh, other than that, that is actually pretty cool. So, yeah, let's go back 
Uh, I think I'm going to end today's video here, guys. This was a lot of fun. We had a bit of fun. We got that little cool gardener thing going. We got our Tyranodon. I know, do we got a Tyranodon? We got a really high melee Tyranodon. So the future looks bright for the breeding of mutate Tyranodons. Obviously, end game here. I'm looking to get tech tier, all the best dinos. We've made a decent start on that. I hope you guys are really going to enjoy this series. I'm definitely going to be enjoying playing it. Don't worry, PS4 and PvP stuff still coming to the channel this is just a little something different to mix it up it means we can have more videos and more variety here but thanks for watching today's video guys if you haven't already don't forget to smash the like button and the secret day the secret day the secret word even today is going to be garden things we made that little garden thing so leave that in the comment section down below if you made it all the way to the end and uh yeah thanks again for watching guys i'll see you next time